Well, there's Marissa and she's actually pretty much ready for an early departure to New Plymouth. Last night in Nelson Marina. Kia ora everyone. Well, I'm about three to four hours in um, for my delivery trip to New Plymouth. And as you can probably hear, I've had to put the motor on because the wind has died. We had a little bit of wind to start with and um, it's died. So I'm sitting here. This is my first cup of tea um, since I started, or so since before I left Port Nelson. So it's a beautiful day, the sun's out. Um, Talton Bay is flat. Um, I think it's going to be some swell when we get around the point. Could just do with some wind, that's all. <laughs> that just there is, or just behind us there, separation point. Day two of my delivery trip from Nelson, Port Nelson to Port Taranaki. Um, it's been a pretty good trip so far. Um, I haven't done a direct route because um, I couldn't <laughs> really because of the wind. Um, but I've had lots of different conditions actually. I've had some really good, um, nice, sunny, calm, light breeze um, in Tasman Bay. Um, dropping down to not much really um, and having, having a bit of a headwind so ducking into um, past separation point and ducking into Golden Bay um, sort of tacking in there and then tacking back out again which took quite a bit of time um, round farewell spit the wind picked up um, and I was on a nice broad reach um, just as it was getting dark and I sort of was um, yeah had a great night um, yeah sort of six knots pretty much constant all night didn't have to touch the sails oh actually no um, I had full main up and full Genoa up um, as I was coming around separation point and um, the wind picks up quite a bit actually and I had to um, in the dark with a bit of swell go and reef the main and um, reef the Genoa but once I'd done that like it was, it was beautiful like but it was so well balanced and sailed um, all through the night just like that and got quite a bit of sleep um, in the morning the sun rose um, still had a little bit of wind but it slowly died away and um, you can hear now that I put the motor on a little while ago so the motor is running at the moment um, I have although the wind is just picking up a little bit so I'll probably just turn that off um, and continue going. Sunny days, yeah. so far so good. I was hoping to go into Port Taranaki before dark but I don't think that's going to happen so um, I'm debating whether to stay out an extra night and go in in the daylight which would be much easier than trying to get into a port like Port Taranaki. I've never been there before um, in the dark. So.
I was out for five nights and six days to complete my 500 nautical mile qualifier for the race and on the morning of the second day I lost all of my electronics and it ended up being a serious battery problem. So no autopilot, no nav lights, AIS, chart plotter, um, but no way was I returning to port so I hand steered using a compass for four days, um, I attached a spotlight for a stern light and had a nifty portable solar panel to charge my phone um, which has Navionics on it. This was extremely challenging, but it was absolutely achievable. strong. I was about 100 miles off the coast um, and, and so I just dropped everything and lashed the helm um, and came down below and the waves that came over the top of my boat, I um, was definitely nervous and quite scared at some point so I was going through my grab bag, what I need to grab, um, life raft situation um, I was really um, nervous. At one point I went to check the life raft was still there, hadn't been washed away and I peered up, couldn't see anything, it was so dark. Um, and then the lightning right above me lit everything up and I saw my life raft was still there. So, um, pros and cons. <laughs> um, anyway, um, yes, last night wasn't supposed to be the worst, tonight's supposed to be the worst, but I think, I'm hoping that the weather just came a little bit early. Um, I'm heading back to shore, but I'm still probably another uh, a while away, quite a while away. Um, yeah, first storm. I'll let you know wind strength and wave size when I find out what it was. <laughs> 